Hello everybody. If you want to read all the stories in full, please go to www.steveuk.blog. Thank you. When you have listened to and read the story, if you liked it, please leave a meaningful comment with your thoughts and feelings about it. If you would like to have a story from a specific genre, say a mystery, a thriller, a horror or a science fiction story, whichever, please leave a comment and let me know the type of thing you would like. Thank you. This particular story is a request from Yagesh, and I'm happy to oblige. Short story 294, Yagesh's Journey. Yogesh Thakur lived in the serene town of Kelong, nestled in the picturesque Himachal Pradesh, India. The lush green valleys and snow-capped Himalayas were his everyday view, a place where time seemed to slow down. But Yogesh had dreams that reached far beyond his hometown. He had been learning English with the help of a kind British man named Steve he met online who had been a great support throughout his journey. They communicated regularly, their friendship growing stronger with each conversation. One day, Yagesh decided to embark on a journey to the UK to meet Steve in person. He had never been to Europe and was excited about the adventure ahead. As the plane soared over the clouds, Yagesh's mind was filled with images of the places he had read about and the stories Steve had shared. Upon arrival in the UK, Yagesh was greeted by a cool breeze and a bustling airport. Steve was there, holding a sign with Yagesh's name. They greeted each other warmly, both eager to spend time together beyond the digital world. They decided to spend the day exploring the city. Steve took Yagesh to iconic landmarks like the Tower of London, Buckingham Palace and the British Museum. They walked along the River Thames, the conversation flowing as naturally as it always had. Over lunch in a cosy pub, they delved into deeper discussions. Steve shared fascinating facts about the UK and Europe, talking about the rich history, diverse cultures and architectural wonders. He spoke of the ancient castles in Scotland the romantic canals of Venice and the vibrant festivals in Spain. Yogesh, in turn, shared stories from his homeland. He described the majestic Himalayas, the spiritual atmosphere of temples, and the vibrant festivals like Diwali and Holi. He spoke of the diverse landscapes of India, from the deserts of Rajasthan to the backwaters of Kerala. He also told Steve about the unique culture and traditions of South Asia, the ancient wisdom of yoga, and the delicious cuisine. Their conversation lasted for hours, each story building on the other, creating a rich tapestry of cultural exchange. They laughed about the differences, marveled at the similarities, and appreciated the beauty of their diverse worlds. In the evening, they took a stroll through a nearby park, enjoying the tranquil surroundings. Steve introduced Yogesh to some British customs, such as afternoon tea and the tradition of the Sunday roast. Yogesh shared with Steve the significance of meditation and the art of mindfulness, practices deeply rooted in his culture. Extended Conversations The next few days were filled with exploration and learning. Steve took Yagesh to the countryside, where they visited quaint villages and historical sites. Yagesh marvelled at the rolling green hills and ancient stone houses, so different from the landscape of his home. They visited a local farm, where Steve explained the importance of agriculture in the UK's history and culture. One evening, they decided to cook a meal together. Steve introduced your guest to classic British dishes like fish and chips and shepherd's pie. In return, your guest taught Steve how to make a traditional Indian curry, complete with homemade spices. 
As they cooked, they shared more stories and laughs. The kitchen filled with delicious aromas and the warmth of friendship. Exploring more cultures. Their adventures also took them to cultural festivals. They attended a, a local music festival where Steve introduced Jagesh to traditional British folk music and modern bands. They danced and sang along, enjoying the lively atmosphere. In return, Yagesh shared the experiences of Indian classical music and dance. They watched videos of performances and even tried out some basic steps. Steve was a quick learner and they both enjoyed the cultural exchange. Reflecting on the journey. As the trip came to an end, Yogesh felt a deep sense of gratitude for the experiences and the bond he had formed with Steve. They spent their last evening together reflecting on their journey, the lessons learned and the memories made. Steve expressed his admiration for Yogesh's resilience and curiosity and Yogesh thanked Steve for his kindness and the valuable insights he had shared. Their friendship had grown beyond the confines of the internet, blossoming into a real tangible connection. Yogesh returned to Kelong with a heart full of memories and a renewed appreciation for the world around him. And so, Yogesh's journey was not just a trip to the UK, but a journey of friendship, learning, and cultural exchange. He knew that this was just the beginning of many more adventures to come, both in his homeland and beyond. Vocabulary notes. Serene, meaning. Calm, peaceful and untroubled. Example. Yogesh Thakur lived in the serene town of Kelong, nestled in the picturesque Himachal Pradesh, India. Similar words, tranquil, peaceful, calm. Nestled, meaning settled or lying comfortably within or against something. Example, the lush green valleys in snow-capped Himalayas were his everyday view, a place where time seemed to slow down. Similar words, tucked, settled, snuggled. Embark, meaning to begin a journey, especially one that is important or challenging. Example, one day Yogesh decided to embark on a journey to the UK to meet Steve in person. Similar words, start, commence, undertake. Iconic, meaning widely recognized and well-established, often symbolic. Example, Steve took Yogesh to iconic landmarks like the Tower of London, Buckingham Palace and the British Museum. Similar words, legendary, famous, renowned. Rich tapestry, meaning a complex and intricate combination of elements that make up a whole. Example, each story building on the other creating a rich tapestry of cultural exchange. Similar words, intricate pattern, complex weave, detailed composition. Tranquil meaning, free from disturbance, calm. Example, in the evening they took a stroll through a nearby park, enjoying the tranquil surroundings. Similar words, Serene, peaceful, calm. Quaint, meaning attractively unusual or old fashioned. Example, Steve took Yogesh to the countryside where they visited quaint villages and historical sites. Similar words, charming, picturesque, old fashioned. Admiration, meaning respect and warm approval. Example, Steve expressed his admiration for Yogesh's resilience and curiosity. Similar words, respect, appreciation, regard. Resilience, meaning 
the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties, toughness. Example, Steve expressed his admiration for Yagesh's resilience and curiosity. Similar words, strength, toughness, endurance. Tangible, meaning, perceptible by touch, clear and definite, real. Example, their friendship had grown beyond the confines of the internet, blossoming into a real, tangible connection. Similar words, concrete, palpable, real. Story written by Copilot AI, image created by Designer AI. To read all the stories in full, please go to www.steveuk.blog. Thank you. Hello, this is Steve. If you enjoyed the story, please would you take the time to leave a meaningful comment and click on the like icon. If you want to know when the next story has been uploaded, please click on the notify bell icon to be notified. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tell your English learning friends so they can benefit too. Thank you.